Hi, Chef Des here, and thank you very much. I want to talk to you about momentum. Okay, so as the food mechanic, one of the things that I like to do is help people go from the position of where they are right now to closing the gap to a position that they see themselves in the near future. Now, some people don't know uh, about momentum. So, for instance, I have several clients and we talk many, many times, and it's all about that they want to lose weight now. They want to lose it now. Chef Des, why am I not losing it now? And then I tell them the story, which is I'm about to tell you. It's about the train that traveling 150 miles per hour. And it talks about momentum. Now, we have a momentum that naturally occurs in our body, and so there's everything else. Everything is governed by natural law or by man's law. And that's up to you to de determine which one you feel is the one you need to listen to at specific points in time. So, for instance, if a train is traveling down the track at 150 miles per hour, you can't, and there is no law that allows it to, instantly turn and go in opposite direction. Now, I don't mean physically turn like, turn like this, but it's going in that direction. We now want it to go in that direction. It can't go from 150 miles per hour that way and instantly turn and go that way. That's what I mean by momentum. And that's exactly the same for our physical bodies. We have, if you can, think about this for the last 30, 40, 50 years, however old you are, and if you have been putting on weight for those periods of time, then you have had a certain momentum. And that momentum has been building and going in one direction. You might be eating all types of food and it's allowed you to gain weight. And now you've realized that you want to do something about it, i.e. you now want to change directions. You want to go in a different momentum way. You want to go that way instead of the way you're currently on, the path you're on. And this is where you are now. So you have that current picture inside of you and outside of you and you want to make some changes. So that's where you are now. That's where you want to be. That's where momentum comes into this. To stop that train, we have to slow down the momentum. And as we slow down the momentum, the momentum from 150 miles an hour going down to 50, down to 10, down to a full stop, then it then has to pick up momentum in the opposite direction. Well, as I was saying, that's exactly the same for our weight. So we've been eating burgers and chips, not being very mindful about the food that we've been eating. And then all of a sudden, we want to stop and go in opposite direction and start eating carrots and salads and healthy foods that feel great and everybody else says they're awesome for you and they have got so many this and that's in them. Um, wow, all about momentum. It's extremely hard, extremely hard, and there are very few people that have been successful in changing their diet, their lifestyle, boom, dead stop like that and go in an opposite direction. Now, I like to advocate the whole go through the shallow end, which gives you that momentum as you start off with baby steps at the shallow end of the pool. You start to build up the momentum and then all of a sudden you're in the deep end and you go, oh my gosh, I'm here and it's working. The food that I like to advocate, yes, is low carbohydrate foods. I truly, truly believe that we can survive on vegetables that have carbohydrates in them, but they're of a lower variety, more so than pasta, rice, potatoes, occasionally, bread, beer, all of these things can have an effect on us, okay? It also comes down to insulin. So for years, we have been feeding ourselves and the insulin inside us has got accustomed to the amount of food that we eat and the amount of work that it has to go and do for ourselves. So it becomes insulin resistance, our bodies. And we now need to turn that momentum in the opposite direction. That takes time. You can't just lose weight like that. Sorry, you can go and you can have a liposuction, you can have a tummy tuck, you can do all of those types of things. But guess what? Your onboard computer doesn't recognize it. And after generally 
a few years, few months, you go back to the same pattern that you were before, eating whatever, whenever, however, and it then has a result, okay? Everything has a momentum. Now, if you want it to go in one direction, you have to slow it down, and then you have to set it off in the opposite direction. So I'm really talking about your subconscious thinking as well as your conscious thinking. Take both of those into account when you're thinking about losing weight. It will help a lot. Chef Des, see you soon.